Good evening, Jeff Legends, and welcome into Captain Herman's kitchen. This is our special edition, and she's invited us into her home, so we're out of my kitchen. We're moving around, and we've got everyone. We've got the family, we've got the dogs. It's all happening. We're gonna have <laughs> crazy house, yeah. Loads of fun. <laughs> loads of fun. Crazy. Um, so we're gonna talk some rubbish for a few minutes. Check in, swipe in, let us know that you're here. Um, and let's shoot the breeze for a little while. Um, we'll run through the ingredients shortly, give you a little bit of time to prep. You can see them over that way over there. Remember, we're making a low carbonara tonight. Um, so something nice and delicious. I'm gonna do a little vegetarian one as well. Um, and that one is ricotta and pea based. It wasn't on the, on the recipe list, but if you're looking for a little vegetarian <laughs> Hi guys, I'm the vegetarian of the family, so yeah. So I was challenged, uh, Kat was like, this sounds great, but do we have something that uh, Rap can have as well? So um, quick and easy, nice quick substitute. Ricotta and peas, good, uh, well, plant-based protein from the peas, a little bit of dairy from the, the ricotta, so we can still get some good quality in there. Um, and the full 24 volt version is um, chicken and bacon. So super easy, super simple. And both of these legends are on our one-on-one -on -one program. Yeah. And both of you have assessment day tomorrow. Oh, well. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'll be checking in with Kath tomorrow. And Coach Jade, if you're here, um, you'll be checking in with Raph. Jade, I'm waiting for you so I can wave at you. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if you are here, guys. Um, just want to load up the video quickly. <laughs> And make sure there you go. So, who's all here? Sindin, we've got all of our, our locals. It's typical. Sindin, never going to miss one. Hi, Sindin. You are looking gorgeous. So, uh, Julie, if you're there, I've tried the makeup. Um, yeah, so try it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's looking fantastic tonight, isn't she, guys? Um, Leslie Downs. Hello, Chef Adrian. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Leslie. Kim Ketley, there again, obviously. Oh, wait, Alex. Hey. Alex. Hey. Hey. Come say hello. I'm the well. other daughter. <laughs> yeah. Full house. Yeah. Granny. Waking up to all the dogs. There's still one. Granny, we need to say hi to Granny. Because Granny's having her, her whiskey and that. Most <laughs> so. probably watching us. Um, Shelly Klumpfus, hello from St. Lucia. Um, how was the class with Jono and Seth? Did you guys see it? Jono and Seth's class. What happened? Oh, no, no, no. No. So um, we missed out. Obviously, you were doing the hard work and all the prep. Here's Granny, guys. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and Granny's also a member. She does her flow every morning at seven. Yeah, yeah, every morning. Uh, that's the family. We all here. Yeah. Pack of cards of Jeff members and Jeff one on one. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, <laughs> how was uh, John and Terry's session? Let us know. Um, I'm going to catch up on it a little bit later. Yeah. And so, could see her. Hello, Bambi now. Hi. Um, and he was commenting in the other room. <laughs> um, Renata says hello, Kat. Hi, Renata. Hi, everyone. Uh, hey, May. Hello, especially to you. You guys are bored of seeing me. Up, so, it's <laughs> nice to have some other faces here. Uh, Baby Swimmer, hello. Um, Joy Johnston here in the dark. Luckily, we have been spared the power um, yeah. outage. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Rhonda Bosch and Claremont and things today, we we in the middle of power off. Yeah. So at least we're good here. Um, Astro Dusso, hello. Here and ready to cook. Sandina is swiping in for Coach Liz. Uh, Rosemary Hampshire, hello. Megan James. Uh, Belinda in Hamburg, how's it going? Kirsty Wells. Hello, looking forward to joining us. Um, and you asked about the veggie version. So ricotta and peas, and you just happen to have them in your fridge. So <laughs> you stock it up, you create the environment, and that's easy. Uh, Liza, good evening, crew. Larissa, Hi, Liza. Hello, hello. Guys, this is very stressful. So I'm like, I don't know where to look. And, and Do you want to share your secrets as well? 
No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I can't. I mean, you guys are gonna. My family, you won't understand. So I decided when Adrian phoned me last week, literally Friday, um, I thought, yeah, of course. And then I looked around my kitchen. I went, oh my goodness, this was not gonna work. I mean, it's absolutely horrific. So I decided to repaint and redo my kitchen, um, and with the girls. So we've been busy now the last three days um sleepless nights cupboards and all and cupboards and all we just we <laughs> have the whole kitchen just for you guys so um yeah so this uh it really enjoyed it it's been uh very hard on the girls because we obviously had to be ready and there was a limit four o'clock today and we were literally still painting at four today so but it's done it's all there and it's pretty and, and uh, springy. Yeah, and it's very light and much. Yeah, we both, we all three enjoy the color and the new I just, color. I don't think we should do it again. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a mission. Yes. But, uh, it was quite fun. Gria, if you're watching, um, we might hire this crew to come and help <laughs> us. Uh, Part of the reason I'm moving around, we're in the middle of a move and we don't have a kitchen. So uh, if you want to be on the show next week, give me a shout. <laughs> okay, well, we, we're ready. We're we, we fine now. We, we're we know what to do. We're professionals, really. Um, seating and all, so, and cupboards. And uh, yeah, full kitchen. Uh, it's quite fun. Siri Chalina from Germany. So we've got some more Germany, which is Ooh, awesome. Nice. Daylene Blackman, happy cooking. So we've got Daylene on, on um, this coming Monday in our Jeff Ed, our meal prep. They've got an awesome biltong business up in Jovic, and we're going to be using some biltong um, in a lovely salad and talking a little bit about using its nice good protein. Now it's going to help your meal prep. So we're going to have some fun on, on Monday, Julie. Um, all right, loads of people checking in. Megan James, hello, Samantha Eagle, hang on, sorry. Um, Antarctic Cape Town, it is, it is freezing cold today. Yeah, this weather is yeah. terrible. Karen Walker, hello. Lots of you saying how's this. So, um, you can scroll through there for a bit if you want. Um, the, the, the session today was dark, very dark. dark. Uh -oh. yeah, I'm glad I had my rest day today, so um, I'll be watching it tomorrow probably, but um, yeah, I'm sure those two together. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sure getting, getting Jono back, unbreakable Rhino. Um, I'm going to run you guys through the ingredients quickly, so if you've got the last minute or two to do a little bit of prep, um, over crossing the other view, uh, got some lovely bacon. Um, it's really diced. If you haven't diced it, you can dice it. Um, so nice chicken breasts. We're going to dice those as well. And um, that's our meat-based protein. Um, so I don't have to talk to you guys can see me. Um, for the vegetarian version, I've uh, got a cup of green peas. We're just going to blanch them quickly. I've uh, got some lovely ricotta and that's going to form the base of our um, carbonara for the vegetarian one. Um, I've got a lemon for some acid at the end. Um, eggs, so we obviously got a full house, so our portions are a little bit bigger here than for the recipe if you only put in two. But we're going to use four egg yolks, so someone's going to nominate themselves to separate those into <laughs> yolks and whites. going to be right. <laughs> Then we've got two different types of low carb noodles, just some um, spiralized zucchini. Um, you can actually buy these now like this from Woolies and Pick and Pay and things. Um, otherwise, if you don't, just grab yourself a little peeler and you can make nice strips with them. So I said use zucchini or pumpkin as another low carb veg, it'll work quite nice. It can actually give you a bit of color here. Everything's going to be pretty green. Um, you're going to okay, and then we've got some other low carb noodles. You also get all sorts of things out there these days. Uh, these are cauliflower and spinach runs from um, Woolies. But you get some that are made from konjac, which is a, essentially like a seaweed. And um, you get cauliflower noodles, all sorts of things. So whatever you feel like. Adrian, do you want white? Uh, which um, you can actually, you can the, we, need the we need the yolks. So I have it ready. Put the whites into there. Okay. That's getting stuck in. 
So you can start separating your egg yolks from your whites. Look how the professional does it there using the shell. How else do you do it? Is there another way? You can use it with a bottle. You can do it with a bottle, you can do it through your fingers if you want. <laughs> yeah. This way is nice and clean, super yeah. simple. You're just going from one half of the shell to the other and the white's going to separate out into that. And if you're cooking for two, we want two yolks. We're cooking for four or more. <laughs> four yolks. And so four yolks. We're not going to waste anything. Those whites are super to use in the morning. Egg white omelette. Um, actually a nice way as well to get some protein into your oats. So um, uh, Bernie, I don't know if you're watching, she tried this the other day and just cooked some egg whites into oats at the end. Made a lovely sort of creaminess to it. Um, and nice way to fortify, balance it out, carbs, protein for the morning. So good way to go. So our four eggs are already done there. Um, then we've got a little bit of Parmesan that's going to go in um, sort of at the end. Okay, so that's the last of our ingredients, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil. Um, so super simple. It's going to be nice and quick. Get a pot of water boiling. If you want normal noodles, uh, if you're not trying to keep things too low carb, or if you're on the one-on-one -on -one program and you've got some carbs in your plan at night, um, just use um, any pasta that you like, really, um, and you can go with those. All right, so you guys have a few minutes to do a little bit. We'll check in for another minute or two. It's going to all go pretty quickly. Um, all we need to do prep wise still is just slice some chicken. Okay, should we? Probably you can do that. Alex is going to do that for us. Yeah, whenever she does your Wednesday, because you know, so Alex is in charge of your Wednesday, but she wants to move into your deck next year. So I am fine. moving into your deck next year. So and she's practicing. Yeah. And I said, but you know, she needs to repeat herself. So Wednesday is her night, and she cooks for the whole family. Um, the Dolly King show was asking me to please, please come and meet you first. <laughs> So we should actually all be taking a seat back and Alex is going to do it all. So, uh, yeah. Then maybe. I'm just slicing and dicing. Oh, oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> okay, no. Everyone so now Alex has to do it. Yeah, this is fine. I'll be for this apron. No way. Okay. We've got a new master Jeff in the house. <laughs> all right. How's your guys prep going? Yeah, just into little nice small cubes. Um, Michelle says, David, and send your built on details. She's looking for them. Um, freezing in Josie as well. I think everyone's been hit by the cold yeah. front. Um, it's proper cold all around. Let's move that so it doesn't go dark. Um, Kim Woodburn says, hello. Lots of comments. I'm going to try to catch up with everything before we get started. Hi guys, I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't um, read, and otherwise I have, yeah, so, hello to everyone. Oh, Jono says he wasn't broken. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Siri, you no, need Siri, to go harder. I'm disappointed in you. Um, sun in the South. I uh, don't know where that is. We definitely don't have sun here. No. Um, Bailey's looking forward to Monday. Awesome. Gonna be some fun. Um, Belinda's excited for this. Um, Richard Caulfield pulling in. Evening. It must probably still fun and balmy in the in the top. Um, Gria is here. Oh, Hi. Yeah. Oh, we miss you. We miss yeah. you. We'd have loved to meet you in person as well with the children. Face to face. Yeah. Um, it, may, it would have been a very full kitchen yeah. if we had uh, all the yeah, kids. Yeah, but I would have stuck with Granny and mm -hmm. the dogs. Oh, so, uh, we've, we've had some offers for uh, babysitters' labs, so uh, yeah, we can happy. we can do a little date night. Yeah. <laughs> um, Liza found Polly and turnip noodles. Those sound pretty good. Uh, yes, Joy, it was two eggs. So we just doubled it because we're cooking for more. That recipe was for two people, so two eggs is, is perfect. Um, Nikki couldn't find baby marrows, so stir fry veggies, that's fine as well. Um, they're already shredded for you. Um, Nicole LaRiche says hello. Um, Anel van der Merwe. Team Coach Leilani 
Nice. Representing. Um, Tony, can we throw in some mushrooms and tender stem broccoli? You can throw in anything you want. If you want extra veg in this, this is an adult, like an Italian would hang us mm -hmm. if they saw us making a carbonara this way. So it's uh, <laughs> we've stolen the name, some people the sauce, but go wild with it. And that's what we want to do in the kitchen. Experiment. If you've got some extra veg, no one's ever going to say don't put it in there. Um, I think it'll go quite nicely, particularly the mushrooms. Um, will be fantastic in there. So do it. It'll be delicious. Um, all right. How's everyone doing? Good. good what is good, everyone good. drinking, by the way? I mean, I don't drink, um, but I have water. Water. For I'll, now. Have, I'll have a glass of wine later <laughs> after my cooking. Um, my mother's watching as well. Hello, Mom. Hi, Mom. All the way in Maritzburg. Um, Joy's spinach and cauliflower. Yeah, that's the same one that we've got here for the noodles. Okay, so hopefully, how's our pot doing? Is it warm? The veg, we just want to blanch. So the problem, particularly with using sort of veg as noodles, is you want a bit of texture, so they need to cook really quickly. So um, if we had a massive pan, we might just fry them off really quickly. So I'll give you two options. Either blanch them or fry them quickly. We're going to start with the proteins first though. So um, if you're doing the vegetarian, just wait a minute. Let's get frying on the bacon. Which pan? I'm going to show you these beautiful pans. Any of them? Uh, no, you can choose like this as well. Yeah, that was the nice one. Cool. So, pan on some heat. Okay, oh, no. This is chicken That's perfect. Cool. <laughs> so the chicken is cubed and our bacon is already cut for us and we're going to start frying that off. So get your bacon in first and we're going to cook that off. Use a little bit of the fat that comes from that and the flavour um, to cook the chicken afterwards. Well done, girls. Thank you. Yes. This is Alex. I don't have to do it anymore. No, I've got to my apron. <laughs> Skills, as soon as you put the apron on. Yeah, it's like a new superpower. Yeah. Okay, so you're just going to wait for the pan to heat up um, quickly and then bacon on there. Get that down. Chicken, that's going to cook about five minutes each. Um, and then it's pretty much whipping everything together after that. So we'll blanch the veg and it's good to go. Um, Shirley, if you've got the pumpkin, so what you can do as well, grab your peeler and just make nice slices. Um, long strips of pumpkin or baby marrow or um, anything like that. I um, just want to make sure. Nicola just sent me a message saying, slice that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nicola, I'm missing you. Hope you're good. Um, how is everyone doing? Like to get the apron. Linda says. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no, I think we'll be fighting for that apron. Yeah. Um, Whoever's on duty gets to use it for the night. <laughs> Uh, Tanya Lon says, Alex, you're more than welcome to go practice your cooking in their house. <laughs> I will do that happily. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gugu! Oh, it's Gugu's birthday, yes! One of our Gugu, absolute you, you were supposed to take the day off today, remember? Did you? I wonder if she's here. <laughs> first chef cooked for <laughs> Hannah. Who else is here for the first time, guys? Um, let us know. Um, cool, so everything should be ready to go. Liza to run and get some parsley from the garden. Nice, grow your own, I love it. The parsley, you also got? Yes, it's all veggie. Type, I shouldn't yeah. have brought any. Um, that's going to go on the end as a nice garnish, which is fantastic. If you don't have that, another green in there um, would be all right as well. Um, some basil would be cool. Um, all right, Slapper is here. Checking in, Caitlin. Um, Priya's going to take you up in the babysitters. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and she's got her own transport, so it's oh. all sorted. Oh, sold! Sold! Um, <laughs> cool. How do we cook the pumpkin? So all the veg, any veg that you've got that is being sort of our noodle, we're going to cook the same way. So the water is boiling for that for a quick blanch. Um, so when I do the zucchini, if you've got pumpkin, you'll use that. If you've got low-carb noodles, you'll use that. Any of those will kind of be the same. Okay, so hopefully our pot's hot. We're going to chuck in the bacon. Um, we'll only need about half that packet. Oh, are we putting oil? Yeah. Yes. Cool. So bacon's going in. Let me take you to where the action is now. 
Who just mentioned water? Oh, yes, Tonya. Um, usually I use these ones, um, but I need to finish the mustard that's in it first. But those are the best, yeah. So it's my tea mug, water mug, whatever mug. Looking good. So over that way, bacon's gone in. Can you hear it sizzling? Oh my god. It's good. So we've got the water boiling, which is good. So um, what we're going to do is quickly blanch the peas. If you're doing the vegetarian version, blanch them because we're going to put them on the side and then chuck them in later at the end. So this is the It's a furious one. The seasoning the water and I love watching them cook. Absolutely amazing. These will go in for one minute. Cool. Um, Hello. What we do is separate the eggs. So Cindy, the yolks we're gonna use later. We're gonna whisk them together. Um, the whites, you keep your breakfast and you have an egg white omelette or put them in your um, oats for nice protein. And um, Alison's first time, well can. Um, I think there are a few of you, which is fantastic. We've got a nice crowd here. Which is good. And Mickey watching for the first time. Joe Jardine, welcome. I hope some of you are cooking as well, not just watching. Um, but either way, good to have you with us. You can cook this one later. And um, you can use the egg whites as a low carb wrap. Yeah, so you make like an egg white omelet as a little wrap. Um, there we go. Wrap's gonna maybe do that. Too. Yes. Um, um, love that idea. Uh, first time joining and third day on the one on one. And now, I hope it's going well. Who's your coach? All of our coaches are absolutely legends. Um, oh, Google's in the house. Google in the house. Bacon frying. Yep. Good. Bacon makes everything better. Um, so the bacon's cooking. Goo goo, are you there? Cooking. So we can sing happy birthday. Well. Okay. <laughs> How about? That's fine. Let's sing happy birthday. And granny. Oh, granny. I mean, I have cooking to do, Mom. You need a bowl. Okay, so peas, just a quick blanch. Back in there. That's only for our vegetarian version. So if you're doing a vegetarian one, the peas yeah. we're going to chuck in later. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Just keep your water on a little simmer. Oh, yeah. we actually seeing that. You're going to yeah. do it in French. Yeah, we're going to do it in French. No, I can't. Put it in the shot. Put it in the shot. Put it in the Okay, okay, yeah, 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 we all live. Okay, yeah. Bye. 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 Bacon cooked, if your bacon's cooked, out the pot, out the pan, and in goes your chicken. Faster than we are. Which uh, is cool. Good stuff. Um, everyone seems easy. Explain the peas. So the peas are only for the vegetarian versions. Some people asked me about that. So I said, cool, we're going to do um, a pea and ricotta carbonara um, as a separate thing. So if you don't have them, it's cool. It's only for the vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Natalia says all is looking so good. Mm. Fantastic. Um, yes, we are looking forward to the pics. How's my bacon good? Good. 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 So we'll cook that off. Yours is done. Check your, your bacon in it. All right. All good. All right. What I'm going to do for the carbonara sauce and um, we've got some ricotta that's going to go in and um, some people may make it with a bit of cream essentially it's just egg yolks 
that are going to cook from the heat of the pasta or the noodles or the veg or whatever once you take it out. So you don't cook it in the pan and the heat, once it's cooked, added in straight away and it cooks it through, that's what gives it a luscious sort of silkiness to it, which is great. Um, so we're going to whisk those with a little bit of salt and pepper um, and we're going to pop our ricotta into that um, because that's going to bulk up the veggie version, but it's a cool way to do it for um, even a modern vegetarian one. So, just a couple of grams. It's good. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of salt and pepper on your egg yolks. And we're going to add our ricotta so we can pop the whole thing in there. This is the best. So does the ricotta have protein in it as well? Yeah. So ricotta is a really good source of protein in the dairy family. It's a nice way to give it a little bit of creaminess and a good crack of protein. So, we're whisking away. <laughs> Make your bacon as crispy as you like it. It's a heavy pot. <laughs> Then he would listen to how you would whisk because it had to make up a sound. And if the sound wasn't right, then he would look at me and say, move on. Thank you. So was that sound right? No. Just no. saying yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got lovely whisked eggs. We put our ricotta in there. And um, if you don't, there's a question, make it go a little bit further. Um, a little bit of olive oil would be cool. You can put a, a splash of cream in it if you, if you want to. And the spine as well. The ricotta was just for the veggie version, um, and it's going to work nicely as well. So don't worry about it. Right. Um, so Haley made that is for you. Yes. Uh, so the chicken's going to cook nice and quickly. Should be going well. Cindy, you didn't have to add, add anything. Salt and pepper to your eggs. Just whisk it together. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of um, a little bit of grated uh, uh, parmesan in there as well. So once it's whisked, we're just going to stir that through, and um, a little bit of grated parmesan, and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, you can thin it out a little bit, a little bit of olive oil. You want to put a, a, a splash of um, cream in the spine. So olive oil, by the tablespoons, you're going to need for two little bits. I know. Um, how's everyone going? Looks good. Our kitchen smelling. Yeah. And Granny's watching in the living room, so she always gets it too far from the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so Mara says happy that. birthday, Google. Um, Crowley also wants uh, French happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is smelling fantastic. So, chicken in the background there, almost ready. You just want to cook it through. Um, chicken breasts cook really quickly, and once you cut them smaller as well, they're going to cook even quicker. Um, so, you don't want to overcook it, and then it's dry. So, um, literally three minutes, and it will be done. Okay. So, that's all ready. Should we grate some? He's going to. Cat, we've just been rinsing a lot. Yes, mom. So, Cat's going to grate some parmesan for us. About a quarter cup. So, let's grate it into there. Come on, mom. Family. Time. That's why. Yeah. Mom knows best, guys. Um, but just show them, you know, dance. Just show them. How are you guys all doing? It's looking good. How's our chicken looking? Almost done. So, the meat's going to come out. If your chicken and bacon's done, just set it to the side. Um, if you're doing normal noodles, get them boiling. Normal pasta. Otherwise, we're going to blanch whatever vegetable um, noodle or spiral or strips or whatever you use. So, a little bit of love, we're cooking for more. So, we'll put some in there and we'll just top the rest. So, that's fine. These two are going to go for a minute. You let me know if the chicken's ready. And it's actually going to be almost ready to serve. How's it going? The olive oil, just put a tablespoon into your egg yolks if you just want to thin it out a little bit. Salt, pepper, and we're going to put. Um, so we popped our ricotta into that. And parmesan has gone into the egg yolks. Smells great. So the source of fat in this meal is the egg yolks um, and a little bit from the parmesan. Parmesan is also going to give us a bit more protein. Harder cheeses and um, slightly higher in protein content. So one of the things I've always got in my fridge is parmesan. Great to just grate over something. Um, Mom, you'll like that pun. Um, loads of flavor, little little hits of um, some protein in there as well, which is nice. And it'll last in the fridge for a while, so it's good things. Chicken Chicken's done, <coughs> so we're going to blanch our noodles. Yeah, who's responsible for our blanching? Yeah, so literally, water's at a nice steady boil, salted water, and make sure it's. So, Olive oil, you shouldn't add to your pasta either when you're cooking our pan and say, well, but then how? So, if your water is boiling properly when you add, the, so the important thing to cook in pasta um, with veg like this is not so bad. If you're cooking some pasta, make sure you've always got a hell of a lot of water, about four times the volume to your pasta, that, that water needs to be boiling. You get your pasta in there, the motion of the water is going to keep the strands apart. You don't need to add olive oil. Olive oil and water don't gel anyway, so the olive oil is going to sit on the top and it's not going to do anything. So, um, hot, hot water, get it in there, cook, get it out, and you can season it and dress it. Can I enter the rest of this? I didn't have space, so I think there's enough noodles in one of this. So, we only want a minute. Okay. Add it. We'll count to, we'll do one of Jono's 20 seconds and then it's going to be ready. So, they're just blanching there. We want that texture to stay in the in the veg. Okay. Um, how is halloumi? Um, I'll talk about halloumi now in a second. Guys, I think you're asking as a protein or cheese. Okay. So, the egg yolks we just whisked, we added a tablespoon of olive oil and the, the grated parmesan. And that's there. That's just going to get poured onto the hot noodles when they come out. Okay. So, 
that's ready to go. Our chicken's cooked, our bacon's cooked. If you're doing a vegetarian version, your peas are also just pretty cooked. And we're pretty close. Let's, uh, you know, maybe to make a new little box. We've got a bigger box. So, get your veg out. I think it's been a minute. But uh, I need a pot like this in my house. So, okay. so you can just strain off the water. Yeah. So we're going to do half and half. The one's going to be the the meat version, and the other one is going to be. Okay. So that's baiting there. Stick your noodles into the bowl. Where do we come from? Uh, I'm lost with the egg. So we'll do the one. We'll do the one vegetarian. So it's nice right. to keep them separate. And so the egg yolks we whisk together. Tablespoon of olive oil. If you had the ricotta for the vegetarian one, pop that in there. It's half a cup for two eggs. Uh, we had four eggs, so it's a full cup, and and then grated parmesan. Um, nothing else, Lucy. So that stuff's going to be hot. The noodles or the veg or whatever you think is hot. That's going to cook the egg yolks for us. Okay, so important we get it in. Yeah, it's not good. I'm cooking. It's not yeah. good. <laughs> Take a little bit of that. Wow, it's amazing. And the smell is just divine. Sorry, I've been all the way to it. Oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, absolutely great. And what I like about Adrian is that he stays so calm. You know, while we're all freaking out here. Yeah, that's it all together. I mean, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Smells good. Smells good. Parsley's going to go on at the end just as a garnish, really. So, you can see our two bowls there. We added the egg yolks. The heat from the noodles is going to cook them through, so you just let it kind of rest for two minutes. Um, and whatever your additional protein that you're adding is going to go in there. So, the one's going to be the chicken bacon. And then the other is going to be the peas. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice over that just to cook. Cool. So, chicken and bacon go into the big bowl. Sure, I We can split it up. Um, peas go into the red tea one. It's smelling really good. Kim, how's yours going? Um, yes, Jono's 20 seconds are a minute. So that's how long you need to blanch your vegetables. Um, the egg yolk mixture is quite thick. Um, that's fine. You can just thin it out with a little bit of olive oil, um, which is perfect. Um, and just give it a good whisk. So you want to whisk it until it just um, sort of uh, loosens up a little bit. So the egg is going in now. Once the noodles have come out of the water, the heat is going to cook them um, on their own. Okay. How's that going? We needed a bigger bowl. Yeah, I think we do. All right. So here's our vegetarian version. Peas, lovely, smelling good. We're going to top that off with a little bit of extra parmesan and then a squeeze of lemon juice and some parsley. We've got the bigger bowl that's got the um, chicken and bacon um, and all the noodles and the carbonara sauce. Okay. Um, Kelly made hers earlier because of load shedding. Well done. Planning ahead. Well done, Coach Kelly. Absolutely. Um, Yes, definitely. Uh, can we add more chicken instead of bacon? So you can use any protein here that you want. So the chicken will be 
perfect if you want to keep it pork free. Um, nice way as well is then to add the ricotta into your sauce and um, you get a little extra protein from that. And slightly creamier, which is cool. All right. Um, everyone's eggs seem a little bit thick, so just add a little bit of olive oil, whisk it just so that it thins out a little bit and pours nicely over that. And you can see ours has had a good mix. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, happy with some parmesan Yes, please. Mm. Oh my god, that's wow, that looks so good. Is that... I'm just going to chop a little bit of parsley. Just a little bit of parsley for garnish. And if you've got a little bit of lemon around, it's always going to finish things off nicely. Just a little bit of acid, you hear me saying this quite a bit. Wow, yeah. And you're just going to slice the parsley, that's just for garnish and because <laughs> our dish isn't green enough for really. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh wow, wow. So rats is served. There you go. Beautiful. Mm, that smells pretty good. Yeah, and then we've got the meat version over here, which is full of our noodles. Um, our sauce is a little runnier because we added the ricotta. It also be slightly thicker, which is cool. And a little bit of parmesan over that because it makes things nicer. Squeeze the lemon juice. And a little bit of parsley. Daniela has just finished hers. She says, absolutely delicious. Fantastic. Mm. That's what we like to hear. Remember guys, post your pics on Jeff members. Um, tag us all in there. We're all Jeff members. Uh, we want to see them. We want to chat with you guys later. Um, Bob Luck. Bob Bates. Parsley Bates. Doesn't have the same ring. So that's our version of wow. low carbonara. And it's got bacon, chicken, carbonara sauce, parmesan. Fantastic. It smells great. Topped with a little bit of parsley. It's going to be delicious. We did the vegetarian version. That's the pea and ricotta. Um, which I think also looks quite nice. Mm -hmm. so yes, I'll right, we'll take a picture and let you guys know. Um, and you guys did it all. I was just the conductor here. Um, all the way. How's yours guys all looking? Georgie says she can't wait to make it. Fantastic. Great team effort. Well done, guys. Um, healthy alternative to an amazing dish. Hannah says, looks amazing, keen to eat ours. Remember, collect your dots. It doesn't go towards your uh, September challenge. It's all about getting you moving and your workouts, but collect it anyway. You need some nutrition dots on the board. And um, hopefully everyone's two for two. Um, and they've got two dots. Two dots? Two dots? Two dots. Two dots. Today? Yeah. This month? Oh, this month. Easy. One dot a day. That's what we need to do. Um, Kirsty says, delicious. And um, looks fantastic. We can't um, wait to taste it. Before it gets cold, we're gonna. The lemon just went on at the end, just um, because it's nice to finish that way. Um, so that's what we did there. All right. So ours is fantastic. We've had loads of fun in the kitchen here with the ladies. Parting shots, one-on-one -on -one program. How's it been? Uh, look, I mean, I'll post my results uh, probably on Friday, but it's it's getting better by by the session and by the assessment. So. I'm in here to stay with you for whatever. So what's um, our next goal? Have you? Yeah, so my next goal is 21Ks. Uh, we're not sure yet not. when, but uh, next year <laughs> in two years' time. But I'll so get there. So Kath started doing series kids' classes at 3 o'clock when we first launched. Yeah. And we've moved to a point now where the next goal is running 21Ks. Yeah. And we're going to do it. Because doctors um, told me I would never be able to run or I'll never be able to do gym again. And now. Uh, Look at me. I'm giving away. I'm loving it, and I've got a lot back. Lovely. And me. And Raph is with Coach Jade. 
Yeah, Chris, Chris cracking the whip. I'm a lot easier on Kat than Jay. I know you're watching this, so I just want to say <laughs> thank you, and you are amazing. And yeah, my one on one's been really good. Um, it's nice to have like, we've got like a little J group and it's just so cute because they all like back each other and oh, it's just, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, I've also got my session tomorrow, so it's gonna go good. And then, yeah, I've been my second month and hopefully I'll also be able to spend forever on here. But yeah, so it's really exciting. And that's what it's about. Uh, Alex, Alex is a solid member. Yeah. 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 I'm like collecting all my dust. Yeah. I'm not She's a one on one, but I'm doing all the crafts and also loving it. It's yeah. amazing. So, and yeah. Alex is a runner, so she did her first 21k. Yeah, I'm learning slowly. And I'm enjoying it. I'm good. Uh, Active, eating well, and building a community out of it. Awesome yeah. to have the whole family involved. A um, little bit of banter that goes on with it. Yeah. Getting <laughs> Granny's part of the church members and collecting the dots, and that's what yeah. it's about. Uh, we do this for things like this. This is what makes it all special, being yes. able to get into yeah. a kitchen with you guys as well. Um, yeah. And know that. Thank you so much. It was <laughs> Thank you for having me in your home. No, and guys, I hope your dinner is as delicious as ours is going to be. Yeah. And we will see you on Friday. We've got a nutrition Jeff, Jeff Ed next Monday as well. And next Wednesday, we're going to do something fun again. So, check in. Let us know, guys. Post your pics. Post all your pics. And enjoy the food. We can't wait to taste it all. Oh, I'm hungry. Chat soon, guys. Bye bye. 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 Wow, that was...